The North remembers. We know no king, but the king in the North whose name is Stark. I don't care if he's a bastard. Ned Stark's blood runs through his veins. He's my king from this day until his last day. You're a wolf. It's not just wolves. Sometimes in my dreams, is it? Three-eyed raven. You've seen it. We saw them together. We haven't forgotten. Does it have anything to do with walking? No, the raven is something different, something deeper. The raven brings the sight. Seeing things that haven't happened yet. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back for another Game of Thrones Season 8 Endgame Theories video. Today I want to talk about Jojen Reed and his green dreams. Back in Season 4, Episode 5, there was a scene that featured Jojen, Mira, Hodor, and Bran Stark. And in this scene, Jojen may have foreshadowed something significant about the end of Game of Thrones. This character may not have had a large role in the show, but he had a very important one to say the least. Jojen Reed has a form of green sight. He had the power of prophetic green dreams. A person with green sight sometimes dreams as other people, but the green dreams are different. They are filled with symbolic meaning, images, and metaphors of what is to come. The meaning behind the dreams is not always obvious, but the dreamer experiences the fulfillment of visions and the unfolding of events. Supposedly, these dreams can concern the dreamer or another person, but the dreamer will always be able to tell the difference. Green seers might also dream of their own deaths. In the A Song of Ice and Fire novels, green sight seems to be limited to people who are blood of the first men, like the Free Folk and the Northmen, including the Kranig Men. This may have some connection with the fact that the first men lived in Westeros for centuries alongside the magical Children of the Forest, and they even adopted the religion of the Old Gods. In the television show, we know that Bran Stark and Jojen Reed both possess the power of green dreams. Before Bran even meets Jojen Reed in person, he comes to him during one of his dreams, and shortly after this is when they meet for the first time. Jojen was sent to Bran via the Three-Eyed Raven, who was sending him dreams, and Jojen's main purpose is to help get Bran to the Three-Eyed Raven's cave. Bran knows that he has some sort of power, and Jojen tries to help Bran open his third eye. They talk about how Bran Stark experienced a prophetic dream that his father was in the crypts of Winterfell when Eddard Stark was indeed executed in King's Landing. Bran's younger brother Rickon also experienced a similar dream, and Jojen Reed later explained to Bran that this was a green dream, and that he had a similar dream the day Eddard was killed. It's interesting that they share some of the same green dreams, but Jojen was also seeing things that Bran would not see. Jojen was constantly being sent dreams of future events. In fact, Jojen had seen his own death before he even met Bran Stark. This is something we learn when Bran meets the Three-Eyed Raven. My brother, he led us to you and now he... He knew what would happen. From the moment he left, he knew. And he went anyway. How do you know? I've been watching you. All of you. All of your lives. Jojen knew he would die by the time Bran made it inside the cave, but he went along and helped him anyway because he knew how important Bran would become. Jojen once told Bran, you are the only thing that matters, and he would stop at nothing in order to get him to the Three-Eyed Raven. But what I want to talk about is what happened before they made it to the cave. Jojen once said something to Bran and Mira that could have foreshadowed the end of the series. But keep in mind, this is full of tinfoil, so just bear with me. The scene I want to talk about was when Jojen, Mira, Hodor, and Bran were captured at Craster's Keep. At the time, Craster and Lord Commander Mormont were already dead. Carl Tanner actually had control of Craster's Keep and he was keeping Jojen, Mira, Hodor, and Bran tied up. During another scene at Craster's Keep, we get some more evidence that Jojen Reed does in fact see future events in his dreams. In this scene, Carl is preparing to torture and most likely rape Mira Reed, and Jojen tells Carl what is about to happen to him later that night, and this is what he says. Don't close your eyes. I saw you die tonight. I saw your body burn. 
I saw the snow fall and bury your bones. As you can see, Jochen had already seen these events play out in his dreams. He knew Carl Tanner would die before the night was over. It seems like Jojen sees several characters' deaths before they actually happen. He dreamed of Ned Stark in the crypts of Winterfell before he died. He saw Carl Tanner's death before it happened, and he saw his own death before it happened. But is it possible that Jojen may have seen the fate of Bran Stark as well? The next scene I want to show you could be very important because it may foreshadow a few different things, depending on how you want to interpret it. Before they were able to escape Craster's Keep, Jojen tells Bran that no matter what happens, he needs to make it out alive. He tells Bran that this isn't going to be the end for him. But then Jojen has a very odd look on his face. He is telling Bran that this isn't the end for Bran. But as he looks away from him, he says, not yet. This has always made me wonder if Jojen had seen Bran's death in a dream, but he chose not to tell him. Before this scene ends, Mira says, how will we know the end? Before Jojen answers her, he looks at his hand as it is on fire, and then he says, you will know. This is also very interesting because it can mean a few different things. Take a look at the scene for yourself, then I will throw a few ideas out there. You have to make it. We will. This, this isn't the end. Not for you. Not yet. How will we know the end? You'll know. Okay, now one way to look at this is you could say Jojen is referring to his own death. We know Jojen knew he was going to die, but Jojen does not die by fire because Mira slits his throat to put him out of his misery. But Jojen's body is basically exploded by the children's fireball grenade, so perhaps that is what his burning hand is symbolizing. That would probably be the safest way to explain what Jojen meant by this, but I'm not so sure about that because in the scene, Jojen is talking about the end for Bran. He says Bran needs to survive, and then he says this won't be the end for Bran, but then he says not yet. That entire scene was very ominous, which makes me think he could be referring to Bran's death when he says it's not the end for him yet. Whatever he is referring to will have something to do with fire, since he was looking at his hand on fire as he said, you will know the end. We all know there will be a lot of fire involved in how Game of Thrones ends. Daenerys Targaryen has dragons, and the Night King has a dragon, so we can expect to see a lot of things burned in next season, including people. Now, what I also find interesting about Jojen's burning hand is it reminds me of what happened to Jon back in the first season when we see him kill the White in Lord Commander Mormont's chambers. Snow! Come on! When Jon Snow grabs the lantern, he burns his right hand, and that's the same hand Jojen is looking at that's on fire. I wonder if this scene will have any connection to Jon Snow, because Jon is obviously very close to Bran, and Jojen says he will know the end. Jojen's whole purpose was to get Bran to the Three-Eyed Raven. Then when Bran gets there, the visions the Three-Eyed Raven decides to show Bran has to do with Jon's birth, so obviously he will play a big part in the endgame. The Three-Eyed Raven could have shown Bran anything, but he chose to show him things that have to do with Jon. So maybe Jojen's hand burning is also another reference to Jon being needed to end the war against the Night King. Not only did Jon's hand burn when he grabbed the lantern, but if Jon ends up wielding a flaming sword, it will look like his entire arm is on fire as he is carrying it. Now I know some people don't think Jon fits the Azor Ahai prophecy, which could be true, but whenever Melisandre looks into her flames for a glimpse of Azor Ahai, the only thing R'hllor shows her is snow. The snow also has a capital S, as if George is spelling someone's name, like John's. What Jojen said to Bran also kinda reminds me of what Benjen said to Bran back in Season 6. After Benjen saved Bran and Mira, he tells Bran that he needs to be ready for when the Night King comes. 
I must learn to control it before the night king comes. Drink. One way or another, he will find his way to the world of men. And when he does, you will be there waiting for him. And you will be ready. As you can see, Benjen said one way or another the Night King will make his way south. And when he does, Bran will be waiting for him, and he will be ready. This sounds very similar to what Jojen said, because Jojen said Bran would know the end. But what does it mean? How will he know the end? And does it have anything to do with Jojen looking at his hand burning when he says, You will know. I know that the simple answer is Jojen was referring to himself, but it would be way more interesting if that conversation was foreshadowing the endgame of the entire series. I like to imagine the fire is metaphorical or symbolic, just like when the sea was crashing over Winterfell's walls, and Jojen saw the snow overcoming Carl Tanner. The fiery hand could symbolize death by dragons, or even Melisandre. Not only does Melisandre sacrifice people by using fire, but Melisandre is currently heading to Volantis, and many of us believe she's going there to retrieve the Fiery Hand. The Fiery Hand contains a thousand soldiers, never more and never less. Each of these soldiers is a slave of R'hllor. I am kinda hoping Melisandre brings them to Westeros so they can add to the Great War ending in an ice vs. fire battle. Fire soldiers vs. ice soldiers, and fire dragons vs. ice dragons. It could make for one hell of an ending. If Bran Stark is going to be ready for the end, like Jojen and Benjen told him, then I assume this is something he will learn inside of the Weirwood Net. Perhaps Bran and the Night King meet inside of the Weirwood Net once again. But this time, Bran does something to the Night King, instead of the Night King grabbing Bran. The Night King scared the shit out of Bran when he grabbed his arm. Then he scared him again when Bran was watching him with the Ravens beyond the wall. I don't think the Night King will scare him for a third time. Eventually, Bran will be able to fully harness his powers, and this is when the Night King needs to be defeated for good. Or, Bran may have another vision that involves Jon Snow in some way. I am assuming it will have something to do with Jon, since Bran's biggest revelations inside of the Weirwood Net always include Jon in some way. Whether it's Jon Snow's birth, or his parents getting married. Either way, it shows Jon Snow's importance. And in order for Jon to beat the Night King, he may have to embrace who he truly is. Jon needs to activate his own powers by embracing his ice side and his fire side. What do all of you think? Do you believe Jojim was simply referring to himself during that scene? Or was he hinting at something far more important than just himself? Let me know what you think his burning hand represented. Put all your thoughts down below in the comment section. I want to thank you all very much for stopping by and watching the video, and I also want to thank all of you on Patreon for continuing to support my channel. I really appreciate that. Have a great day everyone, I will see you again very soon. Bye.